here we are with overlord season 4 episode 10 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode okay he doesn't know him <laughs> Oh. Okay, let's see. <laughs> He's just playing along. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Of course. <laughs> so there are adamantite adamantite adventurer that are strong which is surprising that there are people that can destroy death knights so easily <laughs> okay, we go to the capital. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's see the real action here. Okay, let's go. Oh, I hope this is going to be good. <coughs> <coughs> so, okay. The guy in the red armor is not part of Nazarick, which is surprising, right? Because I wouldn't I wouldn't have thought that there would be someone that could destroy a death knight so easily in this world. But here we are. I guess it's maybe because of the items he has, right? Because it's from Yggdrasil. So I guess that items from Yggdrasil are overall more powerful than something in this world, right? So if the power armor is from Yggdrasil, then yeah, it makes sense that that's maybe makes him way more powerful, right? But I mean, Death Knights, I think, are only, like, in the mid-30s or mid-40s. I think, like, 35 or 45 level base. And, I mean, Ainz and everyone in Nazareth is basically level 100. So, that's still, like, nothing, <laughs> right? Um, so, it's a question, how much higher is he? Like, what level is he, roughly? Like, maybe 50, 60? I wouldn't say that he is... Probably much higher than 60, I would guess. I think 60 is maybe like the... It's like very high. <laughs> if even. I don't know. But okay, we will see. The last king. <laughs> oh, Renner. <laughs> she gets what she wants. <clears throat> the other two that are with her? How does he know that there are two more? Oh, okay. I mean, that's a good idea, right? You are outmatched. <clears throat> hmm. 
I mean, Ions can be in front of your kingdom in like a snap. Not all. I mean, some. But not the one that Ions attacked. Didn't he die? I thought Raven died. But maybe he got away and the others sacrificed themselves so that he could get away. But I thought he would still have died. Because of at the end of season three, they said that Marcus Raven wouldn't didn't return. But I mean, she is on iron side, so. Yeah. And I feel like I missed quite a few. Quite a bit here right now, so I have to rewatch that. <laughs> she doesn't have to escape. She wouldn't be attacked. She's safe. Oh, here we go with them again. Oh. Oh, he's a relative to her? I guess it makes sense, red and blue, <laughs> now that we see this here. Yeah, how is he, right? We just saw him in the armor and he didn't say anything. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh my, oh my god. <clears throat> Okay, he's one of those guys, okay. Yeah, he's not hero-like, right? <laughs> wop, wop, wah. Easy. I wonder who's stronger, him or Evil Eye? I mean, I guess without armor, he isn't that strong, I guess. <clears throat> oh, hello. Who is a girl? On a ball? Very hairy. Yeah, he seems a bit douchey. Oh. 
Oh, is this a different group? Okay, I guess it's a different group. Another one. <clears throat> oh. Interesting. Bureaucracy. Yeah, evil eye, probably. A bit. I mean, they wouldn't stand a chance, I guess. Okay, she refuses. I mean, they would die, right? <laughs> yeah. And he thinks he can win. <laughs> I hope he dies, I don't like him. Okay, he knows. Ah, I wouldn't say that he could escape. <clears throat> I mean, Eins can teleport all over the place, and he can, can just cast something and he's dead, right? Like, grass part, maybe that would be enough to kill him already. <laughs> he could stop time and kill him. There's no escaping for him if Eins wants to kill him. <laughs> I don't think that he has any chance against Eins, right? If Eins wants him dead, I guess he's dead. Man, he has a fancy place here. With a throne. And he's wearing the armor of Gazov. That they made one specifically for him because he can't fit Gazov's size. Okay, here we go. Manas. But Irons could just wipe out everyone if he wants to. Look at the difference of the horses. <laughs> Have a drink <laughs> and a table and some. Okay, here we go. Very fancy. Wow. 
making a standpoint. Okay. <clears throat> Will he tell him? Happiness through destruction. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of true. <laughs> yeah, so pull <laughs> dress all the time. <laughs> I guess it's not satisfying. Oh, here we go. Einstein has a question. Oh, he wants a sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have no other choice. Eins doesn't know. <clears throat> so... Is it just facade? I guess it was just like being nice as a facade, right? Inside is like not happy at all. So maybe it is. Maybe it wasn't a facade. <laughs> mm. 
This is very weird. But now I miss him. <laughs> uh Oh. Well, I guess they don't like what he did now. Yep. That he couldn't negotiate anything, and now they revolt. I mean, they tried, and Eins refuses or refused. Oh, he has balls, actually. <clears throat> oh? <laughs> Is this his head? Wow, they actually did it. I guess he doesn't like that. You bring me his head, but not his armor. <laughs> now we can die. Mercy, right? Dying. Uh oh <laughs> So he spares the family, but he doesn't spare them. <laughs> Torture. <clears throat> I guess they will start begging very quickly. <laughs> yeah, Eins didn't like it at all, what they did. I've lost interest. <laughs> oh, yes, here we go. But the episode ends. No. So, yeah, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But, man, this episode was crazy. I mean, there was not much action, right? Obviously, because now we are in before the war basically starts against the capital. So, we just have all the information, all that stuff, what happened at the end of last episode, and we got introduced to new characters and all that stuff. So, this is very interesting. <clears throat> so, first of all, the mecha guy is not part of Eins, which I thought, because I thought if there's someone that can defeat Death Knight so easily, I would imagine that it's someone on Eins' side, right? But I mean, <clears throat> guess not. <coughs> um... Which I guess makes sense if I think about it, because the slain theocracy said that they could use two from of two from the black scripture, and they should be enough to deal with an army of death knights. So seems like there are people that are strong enough to beat death knights. But I mean, death knights are not that high level. Like I said in the episode, 
I think they are like 35 or 45 or somewhere between that. So they're not that high, right? Compared to Eins and all his people that are all level 100. And I mean, <clears throat> also we don't know how much one level makes makes a different difference, right? Let's say the Death Knights are level 45. Maybe being already five level higher, so maybe level 50 is already enough to be death knights like maybe not nothing but like having an easy time with death knights right um <clears throat> or maybe they have to be level 60 or something but i mean even then the difference between if they are level 60 and the difference between 60 and 100 is like still huge right <clears throat> and i mean not only that but maybe the guy from the red drops uh what was his name azure or something um Maybe he himself isn't strong enough to beat the Death Knights. Maybe what makes him strong is the armor and maybe the gun that is both probably from Yggdrasil. The armor is, but we don't know if the gun is too, right? Um, but maybe that's like what makes him so strong. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> so maybe he himself is not like high level, but the armor and the gear that he has makes a difference. And when you think about that too that maybe gear makes a big difference in how strong you are then not only is irons way over leveled but he has also really good gear right and everyone in the guild has really good gear so <clears throat> the difference is still gigantic i would guess and think and yeah um so i don't like him the guy from the red drops um and he is a relative to lacius lacius from the blue rose, which makes sense, I guess. Blue rose, red drop, right? Red, blue. Makes sense? I mean, not necessarily, right? You can't be like, oh yeah, that's red and that's blue, so ob obvious they are like relatives. But now that you know that they are relatives, makes somewhat sense that red and blue could be a connection, right? <clears throat> um, <coughs> and so, yeah. Then they talked. Then also very interesting. Marcus Raven is still alive because I thought he would be dead because last season, season three at the end, he fled from the battle and others sacrificed themselves so that he could get away. But they also said at the end when they all were back at the capital and talked and tried to like recover and everything. They said, I think that Marcus Raven, Raven hasn't returned yet. <clears throat> and the prince, the other one, also. So I thought he would be dead. But I guess he just took a bit longer to get back, right? So I guess... We, and we didn't saw him in this season. So I thought he would be dead, but I guess not. Um, he's not. He's just not really important right now, it seems like. And so, yeah, that's surprising, I would say. And yeah, then we saw people from the Black Scriptures, which is basically, I think, like the personal hero squad or whatever you want to call it, like the guards or army or task force, I don't know, of the Black, uh, of the Slain Theocracy, right? Which is also like this... The people that fought against Chaltier in season one and that used the world item on her to brainwash her, they were also from the Black Scriptures, I think. And the weird girl with the uh, Rubik's Cube is also from, from the Black Scriptures, I think. And the dude that talked with her. So, yeah, those are apparently super strong. And now we saw three more. And one of them was apparently a hero, which I think was a big guy. And so, yeah... I thought at first that it maybe were people from the Red Drop that were like the party members of Azur or whatever his name is. But nope, it was uh, the Black Scriptures. And yeah, they tried to recruit Lucius and the guy from the Red Drops to fight against Ainz. But yeah, I, I think, I mean, obviously Lucius refused. Maybe because she knows that she doesn't really stand a chance, or maybe she just doesn't want to work with them. But maybe because she guesses that she doesn't stand a chance. <clears throat> I mean, she saw Yaldabao, right? Um, which was basically a demiurge, and no chance, no dice, and 
Then there's Eins, who is like, I think they know that he's stronger, right? So I guess they maybe think like, yeah, nah, I don't want to die yet. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but didn't they talk? Wasn't, I think they asked Azur or whatever his name is to join, right? And he then refused and said that they could get uh, they should get away. Um, so yeah, maybe they just didn't want to work with the black scriptures or not. And I guess Azur, Azur or whatever, also refused. He wants to fight alone, uh, so he can make an easy escape with his armor. But yeah, I mean, like I said in the episode, if Ainz wants to, he can just probably stop time and just grass part or some shit and he's dead right so i guess if eins wants to he stands no chance and couldn't get away and even if he can get away eins could maybe just teleport after him right and then kill him <laughs> however you die if 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 eins wants him dead i think eins could easily kill him and i guess so could everyone else in the guild of eins like i guess there's no one that couldn't beat him right um but yeah, I guess we will see next episode when the war starts. I think then he will also start to fight, right? Um, if that's what he wants, from what it sounds like, it is what he wants, right? And so, yeah. Um, then, obviously, Zanek, or whatever his name is, the prince, tried to negotiate with Eins. And yeah, Eins is basically just like, yep, I want happiness. And I want that my subordinates are happy. And to do that, I have to kill you guys. <laughs> Which is interesting, because, I mean, <clears throat> I get that he wants to decim... decim... What's the word? Decimize? Or whatever. I, 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 I get that he wants to kill ev the army and that stuff, and wants to start a war, basically, to prove it, right? That he's stronger, and that no one should go against him. But killing... Everyone? Really? I feel like that is a bit too much, especially if he wants everyone to join his kingdom and to be happy. I mean, yes, it gets the point across, right? If you don't obey, then you get completely annihilated. It gets the point across, I guess, if you kill everyone. Um, so, yeah. I guess it makes sense, but I mean, since he wants to also be a good ruler... I feel like killing the army and the king and all that stuff would be enough to get the point across. And then everyone else that is like citizens and stuff, they could join your kingdom. Um, would be my guess. But I guess, yeah. In the end, <clears throat> killing everyone gets the point across better, right? That if you go against him, no one will, no one will be kept alive. So better join his kingdom and then you get ruled by him and have a good life, right? So yeah. And yeah, obviously the other nobles didn't like that, that Zenek couldn't negotiate with them and came back saying, okay, we go to war and die <laughs> pretty much. So they killed him. Oh boy. And yeah, obviously Eins didn't like it. Um... That they would step that low, I guess, going against their king or prince or whatever, for just to like kneel, basically. But Ein said he would spare their families. Is he really doing it? And just, or maybe did he just set it so that they wouldn't die right now because they would try to attack him so that he could. Sent them to one of his guys, what's his name, Neur Neuronist, uh, Neuronist, I don't know. Um, but yeah, he sends them to, to that guy. I think that was this weird naked tentacle guy, right, that also loves Eins. And does a weird fucking shit with the kidneys and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, they will have a good time. Mm -hmm. Eins wants to torture them. <laughs> and it's like, only kill them if they beg for death. But if they do, make it slow. <laughs> oh my god. I I mean, I would say they will start begging for death real quick when that thing starts doing his shit, right? So yeah. And then they have a painful, slow death. Oh boy. 
<laughs> I wonder if we get to see parts of it, something. Probably not, right? I mean, we saw it in season three, I think. So I think we won't see it again. And so, I guess Eins will probably collect the armor too, right? I mean, he's a collector, he wants that shit. And he wants to know where the sword is, so maybe he will also go against Brain to get the sword. So maybe we will see an encounter with Brain next episode. We see in the in the intro that Brain goes against Cocutus. <laughs> Dude, if, if they fight, he is dead. He is dead dead. No dice. He is dead. <laughs> Unless he runs away. Um... I guess he could drop the sword and then run away because I guess Cocutus would collect the sword because Eins wants the sword and then he could get away, right? But otherwise, if they fight until the death, he's dead. Um, unless Eins comes in and is like, yeah, do you want to join my... do you want to join me? But I guess Brain is the same as Gazov and is like, nah, I don't. Oh boy. And... <clears throat> Yeah, next in episode will be interesting, I guess, with the whole war going on and Cocutus and Aura can go all out, basically. Like, no restrictions, go all out, use your full strength, however you see fit, man, that, that will be hype as fuck, dude. <laughs> uh, next episode is 11, so if we have 13 episodes, maybe we get two episodes. How will this turn out, right? Three more episodes, next episode will be the war i don't think that the war that the whole fighting will go for like three episodes or maybe one or two episodes then it's a question what is the last one or two episodes about i don't know i guess we will see and i'm talking so much here jesus christ so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think but yeah thanks for watching until next time Bye bye